In this video I'm going to teach you how to do something called completing the square. It's a skill that you apply to quadratics. It's very useful and in the next two videos um, I'll teach you what it's useful for and in this video I'm just going to teach you how to do it. Now first of all just really quick on how to and uh, what's it related to. You're going to take this quadratic and you're going to rewrite it in the form like this. So it'd be x squared plus or minus some number sorry, x plus or minus some number squared in a bracket, and then plus or minus some number here, okay? So what you have to do is somehow modify this expression so it looks something like this, a bracket being squared, and then a number on the outside. Now, just to explain to you kind of like why it's called completing the square. If I have a square like this, where the side is x plus four, and I'll explain why that is in a moment, and if it's a square, this side would be x plus 4 as well. If you look at the area of the square, to work out the area of the square, you would need to multiply these two together, wouldn't you, in the length times width? Or you just take one of the sides and square it. But if we actually look at the double bracket, that, so remember, a bracket being squared means there's two of them. If we look at that double bracket and expand it, we would get x squared plus 4x, plus 4x, plus 16. And if we simplify that, we get x squared plus 8x, plus 16. You can see that this expression is very, very similar to this. And in fact, the first two terms match each other. But this has a 16 at the end, and this has a 10 at the end. Now, the completed square version of this, basically, this expression is equal to the area of this square, okay, x plus 4 squared, but we have to take away 6 at the end, okay? So this expression is actually equivalent to this expression here. And if I just kind of prove that to you, x plus 4 squared, okay, take away 6, Right, that's a double bracket, so x plus 4 times x plus 4. Let's just do it in full once, okay? If I multiply it out, that's x squared, 4x, 4x, 16, okay? And then I'm going to put the minus 6 here. Okay, if we simplify that, that'll be x squared. Those two give me an 8x. And then 16 take away 6 is positive 10. So this expression in its completed form, that's what we say, is this here. Okay, so it's equivalent to effectively this is, so let me just convert and, okay, that's the answer by the way. That's its completed form. So that expression that we have, this expression here, is basically equal to a square, which is x plus 4 by x plus 4, and then take away 6. That's effectively what you're doing. Now, in this video, I'm not going into details as to why it's useful, but in the next two videos, I will. So I'm just going to teach you real quick how to do it quickly. Okay, so let's just do it in like two minutes, okay? All right, so we're going to complete the square of this thing here, okay? We'll do it on the right. So first of all, you write the bracket, x, uh, sorry, write the bracket and put the square there. Okay, so the bracket's going to start with an x, as they all do. Okay, now... So, first of all, you look at the thing in the middle, you look at the sign. If it's minus, you put a minus. So if it was a plus, you'd put a plus. And then, you look at the number, which is 10, and you half that number. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, so you put x take away 5 here, okay? So that's x take away 5. That's the start of it, so you write that first. Now. Over here, I'm just going to do a quick working out because we need to find out what number goes at the end, okay, after this. I'm going to write the double bracket, but you won't need to do this every time. So remember, that's a double bracket, and you won't need to do this every time. But I'm just going to do it real quick. Okay, so x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25. That simplifies to minus 10x plus 25. Okay. So this is the trick to it, okay? If I expand that double bracket, at the end, I get a 25. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the 25 first. And then I'm going to replace it with 3 because I want 3. So I'm going to put add 3. Now, if I all you have to do now is simplify that n. So x take away 5 squared minus 25 and 3 would be minus, uh, what would that be? Minus 22. And this is the completed version. And if you think about it, that, that double bracket there would be this. And if you take away 22 from it, you get 3. So this expression is equivalent to this expression here. And if I check that, that should be right. Okay, let's do another one. All right, so I'm going to do it real dead quick on this one. So it's bracket squared. Okay, so it starts with an x. And then it's add. So put add. Half of that number is 8. So I'm going to put 8 there. Right, then you need to think, okay, if I multiply that double bracket out, what number would I get at the end? Well, I'd get a 64 at the end, a positive 64. So I'm going to get rid of that 64. I'm going to take it away. And I'm going to replace it with minus 5. And now I just need to simplify this. And that is the answer. Okay, so in this video, that's how you complete the square. In the next video, I'll teach you how to use it to solve certain things. Okay, uh, practice this until you kind of mastered it. Remember, if you want to do the same exercise on the iPad or on your phone, there's a link in the description. Just go to it and click it and it'll take you to this page and you can practice it. Okay, thank you for watching.